Hey guys, um, we're approaching the end of May 2021 and um, I was asked by some of my experienced peers to do a walkthrough of the facility and of the tour, what it would look like for visitors. So here we're gonna do that just now. This is the entrance into our property where the last house on a private road, one lane road. Here's our signage. Welcome to Fish Store Aquarium Rescue. For hours, my phone number. It's a one way driveway loop. This is the way in, this is the way out. Right now is the driest time of the year. All these uh, ditches are usually full of water. The water just receded a couple of months ago. But uh, our property here sits pretty low. We're, we're very close. To, we're right on the edge of the Everglades. And uh, the groundwater fluctuation, yearly fluctuation, is about six feet or in excess of six feet or about two meters. Which means from now until uh, until the water table or the groundwater hits the highest we're gonna receive about six seven feet of water some of it is rainwater some of it is runoff but these ditches that you see on the right hand side and even this uh, the lawn on the left everywhere I mean the water comes out all the way up to the to the driveway it's gonna be all full of water and underwater that's one of the last ditches drying up uh, we have about 10 acres in Naples Florida When the ditches are full, they're full of uh, native fish. Fish come from all over the place, they can swim around everywhere because pretty much everything is connected. Three quarters of our 10 acres go under water when the water is at the highest. And most of it stays under water for half a year. Here we're approaching the parking lot. So that's a parking lot for about uh, I don't know, 15 cars, 13 cars, more or less. This might be a van. Okay, usually the entrance would be rolled up. I mean, the, uh, the screening would be rolled up. So this will be open. This is, as I came in from the parking lot, This will be open and uh, obvious that this is the entrance and this is the pavilion with the 25,000 gallon tank. As you walk in you see the uh, sturgeon, koi and all kinds of other fish in this uh, 25,000 gallon uh, tank. That's about, uh, the tank is 50 feet long by 15 feet wide by four and a half feet deep I don't know if you can see him, the Wells is sitting in the corner Wells catfish he's doing well he's about I want to say four and a half feet now so as you're coming through we have our hospital tanks on the and quarantine tanks on the right, on the left, I'm sorry. Temporarily this one has the red fish for now. It's freaking out. So after you're done with this, coming through this pavilion, you're entering into the uh, main pavilion. So we have 1800 on the left. It's 
still running okay despite my scary workmanship so far no problems and then we have a batch of uh, 10 240 gallon tanks they're paired up so there is one tank on the other side of it there is another tank this is the 1800 Next up is the uh, 4500 gallon, the first one, the one that I call uh, peaceful, quote unquote. It is not peaceful, but uh, everything is relative. And next to it, there is a second one, second 4500 gallon, which I sometimes call aggressive or a red tail catfish. 4500 gallon tank. This space I'm saving right now for the uh, for the biggest tank. I have separated the work area so that it's not accessible to the visitors by this uh, screening curtain. And uh, we make a turn and we see the other uh, the remainder of the 10 ton and 40 gallon tanks. This one looks cloudy, it needs cleaning. The big bed. Aiton, where are you? Show your face. And that's the other four tanks, 240 gallon each. The plan is to join these, all these tanks together to make one 1,000 uh, gallon tank or a little more, maybe 11, 1,200 gallon tank. And that's pretty much it. The 10,000 gallon is uh, blocked by again by the screening. It's unfinished. Still waiting for the uh, for the front glass to be installed. It needs a 12 foot by 6 foot by 2 inches acrylic glass to be installed. It would cost us about $7,000 if we tried to import it from China or $14,000 if we bought it domestically. That's pretty much it. So you start making, this is one one way dead end here, so you start making your way out. My workshop on the right will be closed off. The two 45 running gallon tanks. The 1800. and the 240s on the other side. On the right is my water reserve and a sump filter for the 24500 gallons and the 1800 gallon use this sump as a filter. And it's also my water reserve just in case I need a lot of water. And we're walking back into the 25,000 gallon exhibit pavilion. And the quarantine and the hospital on, on the left now.
That's it. Seems to be not much. So it's one white covered, tarp covered dome is the main exhibit. The main pavilion and this is the second pavilion or the entrance pavilion as I call it. And this is just to complete the loop, we're gonna walk it. This is the exit. Overflow parking would be on the left, a little bit on the right maybe, if we get more visitors all of a sudden. I'll take out, take away the uh, pilings, put them up where I need them, so I'll free the space for, for the overflow parking. Again, all of this underwater on the left and on the right. This is about uh, knee deep water when the water is at the highest. And it will be ankle deep water in, in a couple of months, or maybe in a month. The rains are coming. Rainy season is from uh, June through October, as well as the hurricane season. So all the splendor is subject to to hurricane season. We had a big big one, er, Hurricane Irma. Punched us pretty good on September 10th, 2017. Took us about a year and a half to undo the damage that it had done. So it delayed our opening by about one and a half years, at least. And here we come to the same entrance where we have started from. And that's the way out. Alright, thank you for watching guys. Bye.